Okay, so we've added one spotlight. Let's add a second spotlight under View, Insert Light. We'll choose Spot, and it will prompt me to locate this light. So we'll just choose a spot here and point it. It really doesn't matter where. Um, however, you see it's not shining on anything. So let's go to the properties and change these parameters a little bit. So we'll say 0 here, 0 here, and maybe uh, 45 here. Say OK. And, and if we go to our layout templates, we can get a little better idea about where the, those are. case you can always kind of come in here and zoom around a bit. Choosing F7 will highlight the last object selected. So let's actually raise that a little bit more. See, we got have two spotlights. Again, I'll hit F7 to choose the last object selected. And now let's bump up the power a little bit. Let's make it, say, 5. And notice what happens is you start getting much brighter lighting. We made this 10. Maybe 20. What will start happening is things will start becoming white. If we make this uh, 40, what happens is you get so much light that it whites out everything. So you want to be careful about that. Reset that to what it was. Another nice trick for learning lights is to use a different color light so you can kind of tell which light is which. Get a better idea on how those work. So choose a yellow. And because this object is blue, got a nice colorful effect there. In addition to the spotlights, there are other types of lights. Ambient light adds light to the overall scene. So a lot of times if you have a dark scene and you want to light things up a little bit, you can just add an ambient light. Make that like five. And you see what it does to the overall scene. Move this out of the way so we can kind of see it a little bit better. And then if you pull up your design director, you can adjust these provided the are set to editable here on the fly. So you can make that uh, one, hit enter, it'll refresh, make it 10, to refreshes like that. Learn your other lights.